sophomore from Canada. Good defense. Excellent defense by Green. Langborg's going to have to put it up. Good drive. What composure right by Jerome Hunter. John's got the block. Now the pass outside. And the extra pass up top to the shooter, Langborg, and he knocks it down. Fourth of a 2-1 to one assist turnover ratio. Good use of the bounce pass. That's been really important with the ailments to both Green and Fennessey. That was a nice move and a pretty three-point shot by Ryan Langborg. Something going toward the basket, especially since their post presence inside has been negative. Langborg takes it up and in off the window. Just four points. Turning around, hooking it up, no good by Kelman, but an offensive rebound. Driving, good finish in the foul. That was pretty by Ryan Langborg. Princeton team that, of course, didn't play at all last year when the Ivy League canceled the basketball season. Driving to the lane, strong drive. Ryan Langborg. 40, you see the mountains, and you get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Coach, you, you have an uh, official role as the actual championship tournament ambassador. Louie. Good pass. Wow. Zach Martini. But those five guys have been really effective for Ben Johnson. From the left side, three. Gets over. He takes what the defense gives him and knocks down the 15 footer. Langbar answering with a deep three. Now Nicholson. Langbar fighting through a bunch of screens. Eyes on open seam. He lays it up and scores. Up to Preston. Now Langbar, deep range three. He got it. Big shot by Langbar. Langborg, floater from the paint, goes! And the Wildcats have taken the lead. 48-47. Wildcats on a 6-0 run. Torrance blocked away by Langborg, he saves it in bounds. This is a marquee matchup in the non-conference. And in this game that has a big time feel, it's Northwestern on offense first, and scoring with Ryan Langborg. They've done a great job, it's just those open threes that have kept Dayton in the game. A Langborn, a uh, known shooter, and off the bounce, nice move. Here's the little move, good triple threat move, little spin, and shot the ball with confidence. I love, if you take a tough shot like that, you gotta follow through to the basket, and you see his good people, Charlie Coles, Gary Waters at Cleveland State, and, and he just joined the staff, so excited for those guys. Oh, Langborn banks in a three. Nice grab there by Langborg. That pass had some heat on it. Langborg attacks, now finds Martinelli, and he'll bank it home. And you see an example with it there. And especially taking advantage now with Nicholson out of the game. They go inside, Lopsinger fell and gave it up. And you see an example with it there. And especially taking advantage now with Nicholson out of the game. They go inside, Lopsinger fell and gave it up. Barnheiser spinning again, had it stripped, ball loose, Preston has it, bounces it back to Barnheiser, Langborg, two to shoot, he'll hoist up awkwardly, he'll hit it at the horn! Comes up with a miraculous shot at the shot clock horn. The, the fact that Blake Preston even comes up with the ball here is incredible, let alone stays in bounds, and then Langborg falling away with the shot clock expiring, one of his best shots in his Northwestern career. All right, it's a reset. Preston drops off to Langborg. Langborg. Clayton. Clayton to the window. Martinelli spins to the paint. Langborg, step back jumper, got it. Uh, approaching two minutes left to go. Langborg. Pops a three. And hits. Ooh. Trying to set up shop in the lane. Langford knocks down the first shot of the day. In their first four outings. Langford from the corner. Connects. Langford, two of two. Langford with 43 seconds left. 
tries to get a step inside, and it'll be an and one for Ryan Langbord potentially. Jeffries with one. Seven seconds left for Langborg. Ahead to Barnheiser with four. For the Wildcats, the same five. Nicholson catches on the post. Over to Rosinmi. He's got three inches on him, and he used all three of them right there. Nutter has 11 to go with five assists and three rebounds. Langborg trying to get going. There it is. Here in Welsh Ryan Arena on Friday to set up for, and this is a really good second half performance. Oh, what a dump off. Langborg again for Nicholson. I mean, if that's not emblematic of this second half, I don't know what is. Matt Nicholson goes back to back with the dunks, and then Coit just has no answer. Dribbles the ball out of bounds. That, that's something that opponents are going to have to worry about all year long. Good pass. An excellent finish through traffic by Blake Preston. Arnheiser blocked off. Going to have to hurry. Langborg with three on the shot clock. Working against Smith, the runner, using the window. That looked like NCAA tournament, Ryan Langborg, right there. Edie just three for seven from the floor in the second half. Langborg, nice little hesitation and step back. Man, the shooter. He's going to play pick and roll. He can get his own shot. You see how he just stepped right back. Great. Up the scoring ladder, one point at a time. Langborg for three. How about three at a time? You knew it was just a matter of time. He's on the drive here, out to Bowie. Off the shot fake. When Bowie kicks out for a Langborg three. And he rattles it in. Jaden Stone did not start the game for Detroit Mercy, but he is on the floor here, and shot making rolls on for Ty Perry from out deep. Not afraid to get his hands in as well. And Clayton forced to give up on Manseal into the post. Barnheiser comes over to double, and that forces the turnover. That trap in the corner from Delcadia. You know, shot maybe when the pole comes out that they could be in the top 25. I mean, they had a good argument with that Purdue law, or win, pardon. Where's Barnheiser underneath? Good play from Barnheiser underneath. Now back comes Barnheiser. Barry's open in the corner. One more pass, and that one leads to a three for Langborg. Yeah, I love that from him. Playing the four, a little bit undersized, but he causes a lot of mismatches, and if he rebounds the ball well, that's huge for the Wildcats. Back-to-back -back Northwestern threes. Boo Booey this time from distance. It's like a zone defense here, 1-2-2. Two, two. Northwestern practice against this and shoot around a little bit this morning. Langborg looks good at shoot around today. He knocks down the triple there, getting it done inside and out. Barnheiser's rebounding the key part of that as well. Langborg, three number five for him. LaValle Jordan, Jeff Levering with you. The South Loop to Paul to Northwestern. Langborg, his first shot of the game, rattles home. But this team, they shoot the ball well. They just had trouble taking care of it all season long. Nick Martinelli on the floor again for Northwestern. Martinelli's got it down on the post. Left hand is good. Jeremiah Odin's had a couple good looks that just haven't fallen for him. Langborg with a big three in the clock here. Done a good job getting it down to ten, under 10. Langborg has it, spinning around, falling away, and a tough shot hit by Langborg. In the starting five, Evans, who is a leading scorer, coming off that big game against Gonzaga. Ryan Langborg, who's really starting to heat up beyond the arc, opens up with a triple. The one that really hurt, Chicago State, in a game they expected to win, obviously. All three, now four of the shots for Northwest have been well beyond the arc. Langborg's three for three. Langborg, big Euro step in the lane, blocking foul in the bucket. Finding something inside that three point arc. He's playing off this closeout. Colty Young. And I'd love to see that again just to see the charge arc. I, I honestly thought he was set. I thought he was too. Goody, right on the ball again with Barnheiser. Northwestern on this possession, just tremendous on the offensive glass. And finally, even only in a bit of a scramble situation. But now this is interesting here, Robbie. No boo-booey on the court. Northwestern struggling to make shots. 
Out for a three, and that's okay. Hunger. All right. <laughs> he turns away from the double and makes a play late shot clock. These feel like hugely important possessions early in the second half for the Cats. And Langborg starts it with a good play. That's because Hawkins is just a nightmare to guard for these traditional fives. And he's held his own defensively. And he's been so good on that end of the floor tonight. And there's that range for Martinelli out hitting a three. Welsh Ryan Arena. Langborg, the Princeton transfer. Barnheiser fighting for space. That's a tough finish through traffic. Langborg, turn and shoot, yes. I think Northwestern wants to get both Ty Berry and Ryan Langborg in more, more of those pin down situations. Good wraparound pass. pass. That was all about Ryan Langborg setting it. In those two games and none tonight. Barnheiser in the corner, yes. Good find, though, by Ryan Langborg. He's driving down the right lane line. The help's coming over. And the lack of ability to handle this pressure. And you force a team that turns it over nine times a game to three in the first four minutes. That's a big number. You got to bring in the noise. You're about to bring in the funk as we got 45 seconds to go here in the first half. And almost another turnover. Langborg got it back and kept his composure. He almost got another steal. Martinelli got poked in the eye. Langborg got fouled and got it to go. Go back. He's been struggling most of the night, but he doesn't hesitate to get to the rim, knowing that Penn State does not have a shot blocker on the floor. Just the, just the ball goes right to the rim. And a six-nothing spurt for the Badgers. Offensive rebound. Langborg will take it up, and Ryan Langborg. Exactly where we were at halftime. Here's Barry. He'll leave in the corner for Langborg. Langborg baseline got it through Gilmore and able to get the two. Langborg to the rim for two. We had twos across the board earlier. Now it's a four of a kind threes in the foul department. Maybe it'll be Ryan Langborg who becomes that second scorer today. He's got eight. Three straight empty possessions for Maryland. Langborg knocks it down from the way. That's one where Jamie Kaiser cannot go removed. And two all Big Ten guards and Jameer Young and Boo Booey, who's defending the ball right now. They are the leaders for these two clubs. Another steal, another turnover for Maryland. They're already in double figures in that category. The crowd serenades him. Langborg from deep. Got it. A little bit casual there from Jameer Young on the closeout. First meeting of two between these pair of teams this year. They'll meet February 28th in College Park. Langborg, nice finish with a lap. Boy, the little long step right there. Jameer Young was with him. 23rd all-time meeting. And with Western has beaten Nebraska seven straight times. Alec underneath, flips it to Rick Mass, brought it low, pulled free to turnover. Western forcing the opposition to turn over about 14 times per game. Bully off the fake against Lawrence, he'll kick it out. Langborg lets it fly for three. And the answer for the Wildcats, Langborg. And now Bully trying to get around Mass, is cut off. Barnheiser, Langborg up top again, lets it fly. They were overplaying so aggressively. Nice pass. And Barnheiser is back in, by the way. You thought it might be yeah. a little bit longer, but I don't run that Nebraska's on right now. First foul on Hawkins. Barry goes out after taking the charge. He's grabbing the back of his head. And he'll sit for now. Langborg into the lane, and that rolls down. So Northwestern, even with being out-rebounded by a lot. He took a lead into halftime. Langborg gives it right back to him. He's seeking out this matchup with Goody and looking to go right at him. He crossed him up for a three a few trips ago. Goody stopped him. Oh, Langborg leaves! Nicholson! Handling it well. The, the kiss blown to the crowd and then here the... There's Langborg going to try another and that one goes. And here comes Thornton for Ohio State. Thornton on the move. And the Wildcats come out of there with it. They did their job. Don't make him a catch and release. Make him put the ball on the floor. 
his ability to score goes down precipitously. And Langborg drains a three. Ryan Langborg and the Cats continuing to shoot the lights out. Four triples and 14 points in the first half for Langborg. Northwestern leads Ohio State 41-30 at the break. Ohio State still one more until Northwestern begins shooting. There's Langborg. Hits the three. 0 for 6 from 3 at Rutgers, but you know he can make them. They've been shooting it really well outside of that game, and there just lines it up from the top of the key and drills it. Ty Berry provides the answer for Northwestern. Are you surprised only one shot attempt for Bowie tonight, no points? Yeah, no, but you know what? He, he kind of played his way into the game against Ohio State, too. Their, their balance was what was so impressive, and that's a great two-man game. Seven in this first half for Jones. It's Langbord, steps back for a deep two and splashes it home. Langbord, the crowd quieter. Wow. Those three guards, Ty Berry, Ryan Langborg, and Boo Booey. Lucia, there's the double again from Nicholson. Christie was open for a moment, they did not see him. And now Hawkins in the paint, lost his footing and a turnover. We saw Peyton Willis and Jamison battle on that list. That was Ben Johnson's first year as Nicholson dunks it down after transferring from a Division II school. He's played some valuable minutes, but now the Gophers turn it over. Here's Bowie. Up top, Langborg for three, and off the turnover, the Wildcats. Rod wanted a walk, and now Christie read that pass. And they're saying the ball was tipped, so no over and back violation. Now Langborg fires and knocks it down. It's been a game of runs. It's a 50-50 ball. It goes Northwestern's way. They bang a three. And then you look at transition, Ty Berry's running. You got to find him. You got to make sure you get shooters so far with. Down to eight to shoot. Ball in the hands of Langborg. Slices in on Wiltshire. Got hit and count that. Hezzy, go, finger, roll. I see you, Lang. They're trying to finish possessions defensively. They've allowed seven offensive rebounds. That's an and one. With Nichols into the line. Williams is on the closeout. Langborg attacks the closeout. Rink Maz has to come up and help. The rotation is slow, and Nicholson gets an easy bucket. And a 12 point deficit. The Nebraska team that shoots 40% from three is a team in Big Ten play. Second in the league behind Northwestern. And Martinelli off the dump from Langborg. And he takes a seat here. A little tit for tat. I get it. Langborg behind the back. Nice move to get into his shot. Langborg. Yeah, showing you the handles. Known as a shooter, but puts it on the deck. Wrap around. Little fade. The Makai. Obviously tough to lose one of your key players at this point in the season. Here's Brooks Barnheiser. Really loses it, and now he does. Here's Hicks the other way. And now it's stolen back by Langborg. There's Hunger. Pull up, back rim. He's very cold. Langborg ends up for the Wildcats with a big three. Boy, that, that's a great play by Boo Booey. Shot clock at seven. Here's Langborg. Deep three. Good. Here's Bowie. This is man in the air. Langborg for three. Got it. High level stuff right there. Execution out of the timeout. The new bull wouldn't have caught that. Nice strip by Langborg and Northwestern to take away. Langborg does a good job of sprinting back. Rutgers found themselves early on. Now, I think Northwestern, what they've done defensively, they've really taken away the paint. Nice extra swing to Bowie, who drills a three. Simpson cut off by the taller Martinelli. Kept his pivot. That's a tough spot for Amori. Simpson lost it, Northwestern on the steal. After three games with two total points, but he's gotten hot again. Something happened before the tip off, a late scratch. Langborg just forced a fifth Rutgers turnover, took the contact. But the Cats shooting almost 40% from deep, but here's a chance for Langborg right on cue. The transfer from Princeton knocks it down. But Langborg has really stepped up. Yeah. Martin, with Ty Berry out, he's had to be much. 
board for Nicholson. Really good two-man game inside. He can make that turnaround jump shot even from 15 feet. Well, the talent is certainly there for Ware. Three, nothing but net. There's Brooks Barnheiser. Beautiful turnaround jump shot over his right shoulder. And what a sweet path. Nicholson flies in there to grab it. Shot clock did not reset. And it all works out as Langborg buries the triple. This basketball comes off the rim here. And now there's a pass and a ball reversal. There's no one in the area code. And he's able to line that one up and knock it down. When Khalil Ware. Almost lost his balance. Now Langborg spinning into traffic. Ooh. What a pass. A beautiful feed from Langborg to Nicholson. The Princeton transfer, so you know he can drop knowledge, but uh, he can also drop dimes. Ryan Langborg with the dime of the day so far. It did look for my over like his hairline was in the rim. That was incredible. Wow. And then Nicholson with a rim rack of his own on the other side. Where sends it home, and then all of a sudden a little slip out of a. That's why you got to catch and look middle to see what's going. Bowie lost his headband, but he forced the turnover, and now Langborg fouled and count to three. The officials are going to go and take a look at mm -hmm. this. See Gabe Cups wrestling with number 33 and White Luke Hunger underneath the rim, and that's the foul. That and nine rebounds, knocking on the door of a double double. Langborg, long range. Yes, he is such a great shooter, Ryan Langborg. It certainly has a nose for that basketball. Slipping inside, Nicholson throws it down with the left. Well, he's getting high percentage shots like this. Look at him slip out, hugged up on the weak side of the floor, and make some pay on the interior. This middle pick and roll action, or slot pick and roll action. Our colleague Brandon Gordon breaking down the high knees. Yeah, it was, it was good. We had fun with it, and he appreciated it. Right. Just bounced back Ooh. to the rim for two. Count it. And a chance for one more. Attacking Yo-Yo Kayot. Every time they've run that play, they pinch post, they hit the post, they cut off the post, back door, sweet delivery, and an easy finish for Langford. Still got a little spring in his step in late February. Yes, he does. Langford for three. Here come the Cats, back within one. If there's a tie-up, it's Michigan ball. Barnheiser in the corner, oh, wow. Langborg open three, and he drains it. And the Wildcats take a 37-34 lead. Excellent out-of-bounds play. Look at this, Michigan is confused. Terrace Reed is supposed to cover the corner, and they're picking on him that time. Langborg, deep three. Well, that's a good sign. I, I think that ankle's feeling okay. Yeah, well, welcome back, Ryan Langborg. Hasn't played in two games. At Langborg, pass deflected, taken away by Holloman. To Akins. And rejected. Good defense by Martinelli. Martinelli got it from him. A minute left, Langborg. Huge three from Ryan Langborg. He is looking to get this thing off. Gets the ball screen. Those feet are well beyond the three-point line. And that is a massive shot. And how about the confidence? It's a fabulous atmosphere here in Evanston. An emotional senior day to get things started. A great pass inside. Langborg hit there on the pass. No foul called. Now slides it inside. Martinelli. Northwestern early on here being very patient. Northwestern, which struggled mightily with turnovers in the first matchup, yet to turn one over here tonight. Here's Langborg on the drive. Now Blake Smith, the walk on and the foul. Taking Boo Booey off the ball, putting him in screening actions. That's how Boo got his last three, because Hawkins was face guarding him. Langborg. They have won six games this year that they trailed at the half. Erased a 23-point deficit against Penn State last week as Langborg continues his hot shooting. Again, if he gets going like he was early and middle of the season, Wisconsin becomes even more dangerous. No doubt about it. On the baseline, excellent ball movement to get Martinelli. In. Rise and fire. Simple pin down, two defenders go. Boy, no Langborg Wentz. credit for that one. Bill Wentz is so good at heating the basketball up. On a bounce to Hunger. 
Boy, that's a transition break run well by the Wildcats. They're hanging around the best they can. Ryan Langford with a sweet pocket feed.